Thanks so much. About an hour ago, we learned that people in Indian Lake can start the process of getting financial aid. It's been three weeks mm -hmm. since a tornado hit that area. The United Way has raised $1.1 million for the victims of that tornado. FEMA also visited Indian Lake to see if the area would qualify for federal relief money. 10 TV's Tara Jabour joins us live now from Lakeview. And Tara, how can people do this? Well, United Way is now taking applications for those who are looking for some financial help. You can make an appointment by calling them or by visiting their website. Now, although it's been three weeks since the tornado hit this area, people are still trying to figure out what to do with their homes that were affected. The Indian Lake community is still cleaning up from the tornado that devastated the area. For Roger Wells, he has had temporary solutions to his damaged home. Had windows break out. Uh, my dog kennel collapsed and went into the picture window and broke it out. I, I got hail damage to the siding. Wells says he considers himself lucky from the storm, but he's still left with a lot of bills to repair his house. Now that a lot of the physical volunteers have left, he's wondering when residents could see some financial aid. People's wanting to rebuild and get their property back the way it was before the storm. And I just feel like people's dragging their feet right now and we need that help. The United Way has received $1.1 million in donations from people all across the country. Dave Bazusko, the executive director, says they're ready to start providing that support. 100% of the dollars donated to the Indian Lake Tornado Relief Fund will go back to support tornado victims. Bazusko says he knows that immediate support is so important to people right now. Even people who have insurance, you know, are, it, it takes a long time for the process of rebuilding to happen and uh, there are expenses and needs that people have right now uh, as they are you know, working through temporary situations. He hopes the support will get people started on rebuilding or fixing their homes. The hope is that this will provide uh, uh, a, a bridge to something bigger and better when more state aid comes to our help. For that long-term assistance, FEMA has assessed the area. It is currently under review, and we spoke to Seema Merrick, the executive director of Ohio EMA, on our upcoming Face the State about the issue. It's in the process, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the request for a major disaster declaration um, goes through certain steps and ultimately goes up to the president's office, to the White House. So it's in that process. I'm not quite sure exactly. And right now, there is no timeline on when or if FEMA will provide that financial support for people here. Reporting live in Logan County, Tara Jabor, 10TV News. Tara.